Do you know how to become a judge in India? Do you want to be a judge? If yes, then this video is going to help you a lot. In this video, we are going to discuss how to become a judge step by step. To start with, one should have a bachelor's degree in law as minimum educational qualification to become a judge. Bachelor's degree in law means BA, LLB or LLB degree. Let us discuss the paths available for us after class 10. After class 10, we can choose either arts, science or commerce out of the three streams. But it is preferable that one should choose arts with political science as a subject if he intends or she intends to be a judge. Political science is going to help the candidate in the CLAT examination. We will discuss about the CLAT later. So arts with political science is prepared to become a judge. Let us now discuss what uh, we need to do after class 12. After 12, we have three paths. We can pursue a five-year integrated degree law integrated law degree in any national law university after appearing the CLAT examination, appearing and passing the CLAT examination. We may go for a five-year integrated law degree in any uh, law college that is recognized by Indian Bar Council. So here we need to note down that not just in any law college, but the law college should be recognized by the Indian Bar Council. The candidate can also choose for a bachelor's degree in Arts, Science or Commerce followed by a three-year integrated law, three-year law. So let us discuss them one by one. First CLAT. CLAT stands for Common Law Aptitude Test and the exam uh, will have uh, two, year, two hours duration and comprises of multiple choice questions. In the syllabus, the candidate has to prepare logical reasoning, quantitative aptitude, general knowledge, along with that legal aptitude. English knowledge, English verbal English knowledge and legal aptitude are two main requirements for the CLAT examination. Now where to study after the uh, after successful completion of a CLAT examination? The students will study in national law universities after completing the CLAT examination successfully. That means when they qualify the CLAT examination, then only they, they are eligible for five-year integrated law, uh, law courses in national law universities. Now after CLAT, what are the options that are available, opportunities that are available for the candidates? Let me tell you that the candidate can practice as a corporate lawyer after successful completion of the five-year integrated law uh, degree in any national law university. Can also go for a litigation lawyer, can practice as a lit litigation lawyer and can also go for the judicial examinations to become a judge. But this is not the only way that uh, uh, a candidate can become a judge. There are other ways as I uh, told you also. We will discuss one by one. Okay. The first one is CLAT. So after 12th, one can appear CLAT and go for a five-year degree integrated uh, law degree in any national law university. Okay. And what are the opportunities? The opportunities are like they can practice as a litigation lawyer, they can become a corporate lawyer or they can become a judge by appearing the judicial examinations under the states. For CLAT examination, if uh, you want the books for the examination, then you can uh, go for the links in the description box. We have said the links for all the important books, required books for the CLAT examination. You can buy the books by clicking on the link. The second option after class 12 that the candidates can opt for is a five-year integrated law without appearing the CLAT in any uh, law college. As I already hinted you that uh, the law college, only one criteria should be there that the law college should be recognized by the Indian Bar Council. The third path a candidate can choose is a bachelor's degree plus three-year law. So bachelor's degree means a candidate can choose for either uh, BA, BSc or become bachelor's in arts, science or commerce. And after that, a normal three-year law degree. So uh, a candidate has three options after uh, class 12. That a candidate can uh, go for five-year integrated law after qualifying CLAT examination or five-year integrated law in any law college that is recognized by the Indian Bar Council or can go for a normal a general bachelor's degree followed by a three-year law in any law college recognized by the Indian Bar Council. Now what is after BA, LLB or LLB degree? After BA, LLB or LLB degree, there are two options open for the candidate. One, the candidate can practice as an advocate or the candidate can go for the judicial examinations. If the candidate opt to practice as an advocate, then after practicing as an advocate for seven years, he has or she has a chance to become a district or session judge. Let us now discuss the other side that if the candidate opt for the judicial examinations. Judicial examinations uh, means, uh, let me tell you that there is no such uh, national level judicial examination uh, in, in our country, but the states are conducting judicial examinations with the help of uh, uh, the public service commissions or by the high courts of the respective states. Candidates can 
appear the text in english or in hindi or they can also opt for the mother language of respect their respective states so these judicial examinations are uh, three tier examinations generally three tier examinations preliminary main and interview and after successful completion of all the three levels of the examination then the candidate will be uh, selected for uh, selected as a magistrate so in haraki let me tell you that uh, at, at the top of the judiciary uh, the supreme court is at the top of the judiciary the high court Uh, next to that, and the subordinate courts lying at the bottom level. So, uh, the district or session judges, and uh, below that, uh, the civil judges. They are all coming under the subordinate courts. Uh, they are working in the subordinate courts, session courts, district courts, or civil courts. They are working in those courts, and they are they are called as subordinate judges. So let me tell you, after appearing the judicial examination, successful completion or successfully qualifying the judicial examination, a candidate will be selected as a magistrate. Okay, so let me tell you that there is no such criteria for age limit for the uh, any any fixed criteria because it is conducted by the states separately. But generally, we can take that the age uh, limit for appearing judicial examination will be between twenty one year to thirty five years. Then after that, a candidate will become a magistrate. Let me tell you that uh, the candidate who will choose to practice as an advocate or the candidate who will appear the judicial examination both have a chance to become a high court judge. After practicing as an advocate for seven years, a candidate will become a district or session judge, and after practicing. 10 years as a session judge or as a or a judge or a judicial officer one can be a high court judge similarly after working 10 years as a civil judge one have a chance to become a high court judge there is no such minimum age criteria for high court judges okay and a supreme court judges next after working as a high court judge for 5 years a candidate have a chance to become a supreme court judge so this is all about how to become a judge in india step by step i have explained you how to become a judge what to do after 10th what to do after 12th and what after ba llb or llb degrees so thank you for watching our video if you want uh, the book list for uh, books and book list for uh, judicial examinations then please comment in the comment box with your mail id and in the comment don't forget to mention the language you are appearing the judicial examination your uh, uh, state under which you are going to appear the judicial examination and i will definitely send you the links for the books please like and share my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to uh, keep the bell icon on so that you will get important notification regarding important videos on my channel thank you